Hey guys, so I haven't made a video in a long time and this is going to be really important for everybody out there. I decided, you know, I watched a lot of videos on it, I'm new to it, this right here. So this is Thermaltake C1000 PC OPEG cooling, orange coolant, whatever. I've seen a lot of bad videos about this online before I purchased it. I thought, it's been a while. Maybe they've fixed it. I'm going to give them a chance. I like thermal take. I really do. I know there's a lot of people who don't. And they say that they're rip-offs, they're knock-offs, whatever. I bought the thermal take Tower 900 and one of their liquid cooling system packages and I've loved it. I have had no problems. It was very easy. Now this stuff on the other hand. I bought it because I was like, yeah, you know what? I, I gotta give them a chance. They've done everything else right. But don't be dumb. See that white stuff at the bottom? That is not good. If you buy this stuff and it's got this crud in the bottom of your bottle, don't put this in. I haven't even opened the bottom or the bottle yet. Why? Because I know it's not gonna be good to put in. So I've already contacted Thermal Take, sent them a picture, and I'm hoping that they send me the clear stuff with the dye. It's about all they can do. Um, this is going to be an ongoing problem with their C1000 OPEG coolants. It's not just the orange, it happens with all the other colors I've seen. Even the black was really bad. But Thermal Take is really good with their customer service, and I'm going to continue to use their products just because I know they're fantastic. Um, the only thing I haven't really liked about them so far, uh, I bought a rad in the liquid cooling system and it turns out I should have did a little more research because it's aluminum. The cooling block they gave me is copper and blah blah blah. You know what happens with copper and aluminum in a liquid cooling and if you don't you can look it up on YouTube or whatever else. There's probably you know, over a thousand videos about it. Um, basically the aluminum and the copper react bad with each other it causes a corrosion or some sort of uh, some sort of metal like deterioration or something I don't know anyways it's really bad I'm not even gonna get into any more details um, so also I have the mayhem's pastel orange coming today I've heard some really bad things about that as well, so I'm on contact with Mayhems and I'm gonna try and get them to return or replace the bottle, uh, like Thermal Takes most likely going to do for me as well. So I can just say the pastels look great. I've seen a lot of videos, a lot of pictures, a lot of everything about the pastels and they do look amazing. But the problem is none of them last. If you look up any of them, they'll in the videos they'll tell you, they'll show you. The cleaning process is horrible. It's you gotta buy a toothbrush and toothpaste and you gotta disassemble everything. It it's quite the work, so you don't wanna do it. Don't be dumb. I gave it a shot. It's not going to hurt to try and find a bottle with no white stuff in the bottom, but I've heard even if there isn't, it still does build up in your coolant lines and all that sort of stuff. Now, I am only using soft tubing, but still, it's a lot of work to redo all that stuff. Your PC's down for a bit, and you know, who wants to take a break from gaming? Not me. Um, on the other hand, Thermal Takes pumps and res combos. I've already got one in my system. I can tell you this is amazing. I use a clear red uh, thermal take coolant with the RL240 kit that I got. I'm going to be switching out the rad because I found out it's aluminum in the past 24 hours. I figured it would be copper. You know, I figured they'd be smart enough to do that. But it's worked great since I put it in. It's only been about a month or so. Um, like I said, I already have one of these installed on my CPU loop and it works great no problems whatsoever with the pump and res combo or the coolant that i am currently using which is the clear c1000 red um and their cooling block their cpu cooling block is quite phenomenal their 
micro channels are so nice so nice you can look in there and see them and oh man it's beautiful um, other than that you know everything looks great I'll give you a quick peek that's the case nothing's on right now because uh, well I'm just not using my computer at the moment and I need to do a bit of vacuuming and cleaning up in this room before I do anything else I was expecting to kind of you know get started on this GPU water cooling loop um, I bought an EK rad for this one got the PE 240 dual which is gonna be nice I know it's still in the box you can't see it but I have taken it out just to peek at it and make sure you know there's no damage from shipping and stuff like that and it looks nice um, my only issue there is that it doesn't have a third drain plug there's only two ports in it so you're kind of limited to how you can mount this if you're gonna mount it externally it does have the spots to mount it externally but you know you're pretty much stuck to one side if you got a nice big case that it's gonna fit into anyways um, thermal takes aluminum rad does have the four holes up at the top for the coolant lines and one in the bottom for their drain plug but I'm just gonna have to make myself a splitter with the drain plug attached to it and that's how it's gonna have to be and I'm gonna do that for both sides I'm gonna go out and purchase another 240 dual rad by EK I believe just to switch out that thermal take aluminum rad um, I ordered Mayhem's uh, PVC soft tubing just to keep everything symmetrical I did use the thermal take soft tubing on my CPU loop but I will be switching everything out eventually when I can afford the hard tubing kits to do all the bending and stuff because I don't want to go in and half-ass that sort of thing that's a really important part of your of your gaming systems or whatever you're doing with the liquid cooling system um, I'm not too sure if there's anything else uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see how that Mayhem's Pastel looks when it comes I've heard a little bit less horror story with the Mayhem's Pastel over the Thermal Take OPEG coolants but the Mayhem's Pastel still does have its discoloration as you know with Jay's Two Cents and a few of the other uh, serious YouTube PC builders that it just doesn't hold up with color when it's going through the heat so much so we're gonna test it out anyways I'm gonna put it in my maybe my CPU loop but given the thermal take issue I might be leaving the red stuff in for now and putting the uh, the mayhem's pastel orange in through my GPU which also scares me because it does clump up and clog as well so who knows we might just be waiting it out and buying a couple extra bottles of clear thermal take and hoping the dye spreads out for uh, 2,000 milliliters and that's the best we can do other than that um, I may go with the mayhem's sort of clear colored or uh, like an orangey if they offer an orange dye with a clear coolant I might go that way as well I just highly suggest you guys look into all your stuff um, and don't be dumb like if it's something looks not right to use don't use it I've seen another youtuber talk about this he noticed the white in the bottom and he still used it that was a dumb decision dumb choice you know just be smart PCs are worth a lot of money they do a lot of stuff you don't want to see your time, efforts, cash, all that fun stuff go down the drain. So just being a big pile of mess that you regret even putting money into. Enjoy yourselves. Go out there, have a fun build. Watch out for stuff. Please, please just be careful. Have a good one. Hopefully everybody that watches this. Um, yeah, don't, I'm not trying to deter you from buying anything Thermal Take or Mayhem's. They're great companies. They have great reviews on a lot of their stuff. Everything looks great. Everything performs great. So don't be afraid to buy it if it's got thermal take or mayhems on it. Just, just be weary of what you are buying and make sure you give everything a second look because nobody's perfect. 
you know, mistakes happen, accidents happen. It's nobody's fault in particular. Just kind of, you know, do your do your stuff properly. Have a good one, guys.